Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rianne, and I just watched The Unnameable, which I found on Amazon Prime. So this is supposed to be an adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's The Unnameable. And, uh, all right, so I know there's been a lot of movies that have attempted H.P. Lovecraft, and in my opinion, the only successful ones really are Reanimator and Dagon which I don't think a lot of people like Dagon, but I like Dagon, so there's that. Movie starts out with a bunch of college kids talking about a local lore involving, I, th I think it's supposed to be the Antichrist or some sort of demon monster that's born and this old man keeps her captive because she just wants to kill everything and has the bloodlust because she's probably a teenager. So, of course, the said demon then kills the father and they lock up the house never to be entered again. The story is that there was a child that saw the reflection and went completely mad and grayed out and never really came back to sanity. So of course to dispel the story and rumors, one guy decides that he needs to stay in the house. Of course he dies. And then some frat guys want to take two girls that are thinking about pledging a sorority to the house to get a feel for the land as this may be part of the hazing. And of course, this starts off a whole haunted house demon lady issue. And uh, we kind of know where the story's going with that. One of the guys is a descendant of the, I think he said the father of the child that went crazy from seeing the, the demon. So he knows it's true. He knows somehow he's linked to it. And his name is also Howard. Well, there is a Howard. That's not the Howard, but there's a Howard. Anyways, I'm going to leave it off there because it's spoiler free. But I mean, y you know how the movie's going to go. What did I like about this movie? I, I liked some of the effects. I liked when they finally revealed the demon lady that she had goat feet. I won't give away what she looks like, really, because that's something that they talk about a lot that no one really knows and couldn't describe, so it, very, very unnameable. Um, I mean, I like that everything was, oh, Miskatonic University and blah, blah, blah. So I, those, those words are just music to my ears. I, I guess that's really all I liked about it because it's just not a great ad adaptation. What did I dislike? The, um, the dude man frat boys really pissed me off until one of them started to kind of show a sensitive side that was refreshing. I didn't like how it was just them running around a house kind of Scooby-Doo-esque for a while trying to outwit the demon lady and get out and the house magically locks itself. It just took a really long time and it was hard for me to keep paying attention to it. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of the movie. I'm glad I watched it, but I'm probably not going to watch it ever again. I'd give it maybe like 2.5 out of 5. If you're into HP Lovecraft and you do enjoy the story, probably give it a watch. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? Leave me a comment down below or you could post it on my Twitter. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. Please do like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you and hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find my reviews in podcast form via iTunes from the Farsighted Network. Please also check out all the creators and the network itself. And uh, that's about it. See you guys later. Thank you.